And finally, new rule this Father's Day, do the right thing and go out to the mall and get Dad a polyester shirt with tin cufflinks and a nylon tie in a plastic box. <laughs> He'll never wear it because he's not the doorman at a Sicilian whorehouse. <laughs> But there is a greater cause to be considered. Stores are going extinct, and they're taking millions of jobs with them. Americans no longer shop till they drop. They click till they're sick. <laughs> and when they want to buy a pair of pants, they don't have to put on a pair of pants. Yeah. So the folks who are really suffering in this economy are the people like the department store lady in the lab coat who sprays you with hooker perfume. <laughs> The sales dude who says, I'm not sure I can give you that price. I'll have to ask my manager. <laughs> and the clerk at Victoria's Secret who says, is this a gift for someone else? <laughs> How old are you? Now stop How old are you? 61? Uh, the last the so oh, good. shut up. <laughs> In the last two years, J.C. Penney has closed 138 stores. Radio Shack has closed 550, Payless Shoes 400, and on and on and on. But all we hear from President Man Baby is, we must put our miners back to work. No, the jobs we're losing aren't in coal, they're at Kohl's. <laughs> What is this fetish Trump has with coal miners? Did they have a P tape on him? <laughs> he said he was gonna be the greatest jobs president God ever created. Maybe he could start by waddling down to Forever 71. <laughs> and buying a lighter shade of bronzer in a suit that fits. <laughs> Instead, he sends out his bizarro administrator to the EPA, Scott Pruitt, to announce... We've had over 50,000 jobs since last quarter, coal jobs, mining jobs, created in this country. Oh, goody. Now if we can just get the asbestos and lead paint factories back. <laughs> and reopen the opium dens, like back when America was great. Bill Clinton's campaign song was Don't Stop Thinking About Tomorrow. Trump should be the way we were. And the way we were was not well. Mining coal isn't very good for you. Neither is burning it. It's the reason why there's a billion and a half people in China, but you can only see four of them. <laughs> Why are we working so hard to preserve the worst job this side of deodorant tester? <laughs> That's a real thing. No. No. Why, <laughs> Why are coal jobs so important that Scott Pruitt thinks he should lie about it? Because when he says that we created 50,000 coal jobs this quarter, wow. That is something like coal itself that he just pulled directly out of a dark hole. <laughs> 50,000 this quarter? The American coal mining industry employs 51,000 people total. There are more yoga teachers. <laughs> just on my block. It's worth asking, why do Trump and his fans care so much about some jobs and not at all about others? We know that coal mining is 95% male and 95% white, but I'm sure that's not it. <laughs> no, maybe it's Trump's view of the economy. Being like a five-year-old child, he only likes coal miners and truck drivers and construction workers, you know, the kind of jobs you see on Sesame Street. <laughs> and I hate to tell you, but those truck driver jobs, they're the next to go when driverless cars become commonplace. Because whether you're in retail, or in coal mining, or used to work at Blockbuster. It's the same story. When someone comes along with a better idea, you get shit-canned.
Thousands of Americans used to work as lamp lighters, going around town lighting the gas street lights at night. Then Edison came along with his light bulb. <laughs> Why didn't President Grant do something to stop that? <laughs> because you can't stop progress. So... <laughs> so say goodbye to the mall now, while you still can, because soon it will be a civilization gone with the wind. And then, then, where will we go to eat oversized pretzels and <laughs> hot dogs on a stick? Where will our teenagers go to wander aimlessly? <laughs> and our elderly population to get exercise. <laughs> Where will our children go at Christmas when it's time to sit them on a pedophile's lap? <laughs> Without GameStop, how can hipsters trade their old Xbox games for weed? <laughs> And without Brookstone, what will happen to women who want to publicly moan on vibrating chairs? <laughs> Where will zombies attack? <laughs> Where will I be able to see emotional support dogs pissing on an artificial bush? <laughs> Where will I be able to get the Christian rock CDs I play to make stragglers leave my parties? <laughs> And mostly, where will all the laid-off miners go to work? <laughs>